What is up, guys? My name is Matt from Matters of the Great Ding, and this is like one of the funnest and coolest synergized deck techs I've ever made. It could be Absan Celestia. I think when I put this deck up to poll in my previous videos, it didn't. It was the least voted for deck out of all the decks every single time I put it on the pool. So I gotta release it because it is a really sweet deck. So uh, before we get into it, go ahead, hit that like button. It means a lot. Subscribe if you are new. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. Help me reach that mark. And uh, vote up in the top right corner. We got five new choices. Five new choices for you up there. Go ahead, vote for which one you want to see next. And let's get into it. Well, it's the name of the deck, so I'll just go ahead and showcase this off. We're playing four copies of Solemnity. Now, okay, this is a budget deck, quote-unquote. It's under $50. It's like $45 main board and $15 sideboard, so technically like $60. But Solemnity takes up 20 of those dollars because it's a pretty expensive card. Modern is using it a lot right now. It's in a lot of sideboards, but we are main boarding it in our deck, and it's kind of important we do that. Um, it says players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. This stops things like energy, counter decks, you guys know. So, um, we're using this to abuse the fact it's not going to put negative one counters on our guys. And the kind of the upside is that teamer energy and, and uh, green-black energy have super, super hard times against this deck. Or green-black um, counters, whatever one of those variations of the deck just have such a hard time with this deck just because we main board a play set of this thing. Um, I know you're like thinking, okay, if we have two of these, it's not legendary, but they both do the same thing. Why That just seems like a dead card. And you do run into that problem, not going to lie, but it's just so important that we hit this. We have to play the full four. And with that, let's get to our creatures. Let's start at our two mana creatures. And move up. We're going to be playing four copies of Channeler Initiate and four copies of Exemplar of Strength. So Channeler Initiate could be a two mana three four with Solemnity out, or or if you don't have Solemnity out, it's a ramp card. So kind of double bonus right there. You don't have a Solemnity, it's nice. If you do have a Solemnity, it's nice. So um, and then Exemplar of Strength, we kind of just want with Solemnity. It's a two mana four four. Can't get um. Bolted down by a Dynavolt Tower, can't get Incendiary Flowed, just can't get removed by anything other than hard removal and Grasp of Darkness, of course, and Fatal Push. Okay, maybe it does get hit by some things, but um, if they're not playing a black deck, it does really well That uh, if you have a Solemnity out. If you don't have a Solemnity out, it's a decent turn two play. I'd rather have Channeler Initiate for turn two, but it's a decent turn two play. Let's move to our three drops here. We're going to be playing three copies of Defiant Greek Maw, four copies of Baleful Amet, and four copies of Emit Eternal. Defiant Greek Maw is a three mana four five. That's pretty sweet. Can't get Grasp of Darkness, which is nice. Um, Baleful Amet is a three mana four three with Lifelink. I mean, originally it only puts one negative one counter on a guy, which is not too bad of a restriction, but. It's still really nice just to have a 3-mana 4-3 lifelink. Like, that's just huge value. And then Emit Eternal is by far the best creature in the deck. And the most expensive one. Because it's a 3-mana 5-5 five five permanently. If you have a Solemnity out. Um, actually, it's a 3-mana 5-5 five five with a Flicked 3. So it is just, like, super strong. Hard to remove. They have to have a Revolted Fatal Push to kill it. Grasp of Darkness can't kill it. You know, obviously the hard removals can kill all these creatures. But it's... Super hard to kill with, you know, some black removal cards. And uh, just is super, super strong because it's a 3-mana 5-5 five, five with a flicked 3. Let's talk about the last creature in the deck, which is a 4-drop. Uh, we're playing 3 copies of Crocodile of the Crossing. So this is a 4-mana 5-4 with haste. A 4-mana 5-4 haste that's not going to put any negative encounters on anything because you have a Slamity out. So... Just super, super strong. The whole point of this deck is to play um, a whole bunch of creatures that are supposed to be kind of like a downside. Like, they have a huge upside, but they have a huge downside. But Solemnity 
just erases the downside, and you're just playing these huge, massive creatures, like, for full value. Just, like, it's just so super, super strong deck. Um, not many people are going to expect a Crocodile of the Crossing, just, like, a 4-mana 5-4 haste. They're like, okay, just swept the board. We're good. Oh, no, you're not, because I just hit you with a 5-4 haste. So, uh, definitely worth a 3 of in this deck. All right, let's move to the non-creature spells. We've already talked about our Solemnity, but let's get to our removal. We're playing three copies of Cast Out and three copies of Murder. It's the only removal we're playing in the deck. Um, obviously, we're playing a lot more green and black in this deck because the only white cards are Cast Out and Solemnity. So do keep that in mind. Murder is just hard removal at instant speed. And Cast Out can take out Planeswalkers, Artifacts, Enchantments, stuff like that that we don't want. Or it could take out a creature if you need it to. Um, also has Flash. You guys know how good Cast Out is. Let's talk about our last two non-creature spells in the deck. And one of them is super interesting and super fun to play. So we'll play one copy of Hippotra's Mark and three copies of Driven to Despair. So Hippotra's Mark, we're actually um, playing a one of here in the main board. If you don't have a Solemnity out, it can erase your counters on a guy and give it Hexproof so it can't get removed from targeted removal. Um... Just a nifty little one mana or one mana, you know, one time play thing in this deck. And then Driven to Despair turned out to be really important in this deck. Because if you haven't noticed, we are not playing anything over four mana. And Driven can just refill our hand and give us the gas to end the game. So Driven is a two mana, one in a green sorcery. It says, until end of turn, creatures you control gain trample. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That is super strong. We're playing a whole bunch of really, really strong creatures. Um, and I want to point out really quickly, um, I know people have questions about this. Um, Emit Eternal has a flick three. And you're saying, what if I play the Driven half and Emit Eternal and they block it with a five toughness creature because it'll have trample. Um, does the Afflict 3 count as combat damage? And it does not. Because it just... Afflict is whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses 3 life. It's not saying this creature deals 3 damage to the target player. So um, that does not work like that. But it's hard to block a whole bunch of these, like, 5, 4, you know... All of our guys are, I believe, 4 power and above, except for Chandler Initiate, which will be a 3, 4. But still, all our creatures are mostly three mana under, and they're just four or five power guys that'll have trample, and say whenever this creature deals damage to a player, draw a card. This could be a huge swing for us. And then let's talk about the despair half, because this is just as good. If you could play both halves while you have three or four creatures out, giving your guys trample and menace, and whenever this creature deals combat damage, you draw a card and your, the, your opponent discards a card, is just insanely good. It's... I can't explain how good it is to play both halves of this and have them discard like three or four cards and have you draw four cards. That literally will just win you the game right there. They'll empty their hand. You'll refill your hand. They can't do anything with how powerful and cheap your creatures are. So just a must-have in this deck, really. Um, at first, I'd just run out of gas super quickly, but this is a must-have in the deck Kind of another control aspect and can just draw a whole bunch of cards. Super important in the deck by far. Let's talk about the lands. And the lands are weird because this is a quote-unquote budget deck. That's $60 main and sideboard. Um, but we can't use any expensive dual lands. So um, we're going to be playing two Evolving Wilds to get a basic land of our choice. Um, three Forsaken Sanctuary, three Foul Orchard. 3 Tranquil Expanse, 5 Swamp, 4 Plains, and 4 Forests. Um, Forsaken uh, Sanctuary is an uh, Amaket card. Actually, all these lands can be Amaket cards. So Amaket actually came out with these dual lands um, that just enter tapped and they don't have anything else. So they're not rotating out. I believe they used to be Eldritch Moon cards. If I am mistaken, you guys will let me know. But... They reprinted them in Amonkhet, so you shouldn't have a problem with these, because they're not going to ro rotate out. And they um, are really, really cheap. Really cheap, so uh, you definitely need the colors of everything. I know we're only playing two cards with white, and we're actually playing a lot of cards with green, but I decided to go with the four planes and f uh, four forests, just because 
we really do need to hit white for a solemnity. If we have a solemnity in our hand and no white sources, it just feels so, so bad. And we're actually, the only thing we're playing that's a double of a color is murder, which is double black. We're already playing a lot of black sources, so shouldn't have too much of a problem with a mana base here. Um, obviously, if you can upgrade it, go ahead and do that. But uh, this is fine for me, and it's super budget. So let's move to the sideboard. Sideboard time. Um, we're going to be playing... Two copies of Blessed Alliance against Aggro. Uh, super important against Aggro, um, just because it can gain us life. Uh, three Crook of Condemnation against God Pharaoh Gifts decks, Delirium decks, Reanimation decks. Anything that has to do with Graveyard, go ahead and screw them over. Um, two Dissenters Deliverance to take out, again, God Pharaoh's Gifts decks, um, Dynavolt Tower decks, anything that has to do with artifacts. Um, three Heroic Interventions. To save us from uh, Fumigates and Bantu's Last Reckoning kind of stuff. Um, or just straight up control in general. Um, you can take out things like Murder if they're not playing any creatures and put this in instead. Uh, two Prowling Serpa parts against decks that run heavy counters. Um, and then three Yehenny's Expertise. Just because it's actually super strong in this deck. This won't kill a single one of our creatures that... If we have a Slumbity out and they don't come up with any negative encounters. Um, all our creatures will survive this. And it can take out like a tokens deck or something like that. And the um, cast card with converted man cost three or less is super important. Because we're playing a lot of three drops. We're playing a lot of things for three mana. Slumbity is one of them. Uh, Baleful Amit, Amit, Eternal, Defiant, Great Maw, Murder. Just stuff like that. Um, Yehenny's Expertise is super relevant in this deck and sideboard actually. Because it doesn't kill their creatures. And can cast literally everything except for cast out on our main board and crocodile at the crossing. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know this is a super sweet deck. I hope you guys try it out because it is really fun. Um, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Helps out a lot. Subscribe if you are new. Gotta help me reach 2,000 subscribers. I already, I know, I already said that, but seriously. Help me out a lot if you hit that subscribe button. And uh, vote for next video's deck tech. Top right corner. Uh, five choices for you. All super sweet decks, of course. And uh, I will see you in that next video. Peace.